I hope you all had a very nice Christmas and I hope Santa brought you some wonderful Jerry Anderson goodies in your stockings. He certainly brought something rather special for me. For Christmas this year, I received this, the script for the Terrorhawks episode. Gold. Always believe in No, 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 we've done that, we've done that. Anyway, I was going to sort of use this to kind of lead into talking about various cool items of Jerry Anderson merchandise that uh, that I have in my collection, because I do have one or two rather interesting pieces. Well, two, really. Um, but I kind of was semi-staying on topic because this is about Terrorhawks, but I do want to talk a little about the latest passing within the Jerry Anderson universe of... The great, legendary Windsor Davies. Windsor Davies in It Ain't Our Fuck Mum is one of my favourite comedy performances and comedy creations of all time. I think he is absolutely superb in that show. What I loved about the character was that he thought he was the most capable, the most intelligent, the only sane man in this group of, of people. And very often he was by far the stupidest. Shut up. <laughs> Windsor delivered such a multi-layered performance. He's really good at the comedy bluster. But there is also this underlying sort of vulnerability. When he's called upon to play really quiet, dramatic, and at times quite powerful and moving scenes. So what I find particularly interesting about Windsor's casting in Terrorhawks to play Sergeant Major Zero is it is, for all intents and purposes, exactly the same character as he was playing in Hot Mum and, and all those other things. Not very good odds, Sergeant Major. Oh, shut up. We will be cut to pieces. Shut up, you. And I can't think of any other examples of an actor being hired to do a Jerry Anderson show specifically to play exactly the same character that they've played in another production, except as a robot, which is such a cool twist. You would expect that almost as a, 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 almost as stunt casting, really, that might have backfired. Impossible, sir. We have this super secret organization, and here you have this essentially comedy Sergeant Major bellowing orders at his men. And instead, it turns out to be one of the highlights of the show, which is great. And especially in those very stodgy, slightly tedious early episodes, Windsor is a huge saving grace throughout that series. So many of my favourite moments from that show are down to him. You'd like to award me another medal for bravery, Your Majesty? You're far too kind. Perhaps the Corporal Einstein should get some token of recognition. Zero? Oh! I know he would be the first to admit that out of the five regular voice actors in Terrorhawks, he was by far the... he had the least range vocally. Aside from Sergeant Major Zero, he obviously played, infamously, I should say, played uh, the Indian, Dr. Killjoy. Oh dear me, the patient has made a full recovery. I believe he was also the voice of the Spirilla. <laughs> I want to say he was a radio announcer somewhere along the line. Here in good old Badwater County, it's going to be another hot one. The high is a big double eight and that's a 88 degrees. <laughs> And one of the reasons I think Terrorhawks is quite an underrated Jerry Anderson series is, at times, it can slightly pull at your heartstrings a little, and so much of that is down to zero. I think one of my favourite Windsor Davies scenes in the whole show is in the episode Space Cyclops, where Dee's Wheat is being pulled down into the maw of the Cyclops, and the Sergeant Major is trying desperately to save him, and he fails. And there is this moment where you genuinely believe that Dee's Wheat could be dead, because Windsor is absolutely playing it to that level. He cut the line. Brave, brave lad. Sacrificed himself to save his beloved Sergeant Major. And if that already isn't upsetting enough, rather than, say, retreat, he chooses to face down the monster, but before he goes to what he thinks is certain death. I'd just like to say, I, I think you is beautiful. And the Zeroids are obviously a hugely memorable part of, uh, of Terrorhawks. Everybody remembers Zelda and the Zeroids. And I'm wondering how much of that is down to Windsor. Obviously, they are superb creations, I mean, beautifully, intricately designed. But the fact that Windsor is there to lead them 
is just the icing on the cake. He does such a terrific job. It's a shame that he was never interviewed in this era of DVDs and Blu-rays and such, um, but he relocated to France. So then when it came time to do the Big Finish audio episodes of Terrorhawks in 2014, replacements were needed. And in the case of Anne Riddler, we got the wonderful Beth Chalmers in to play Kate Kestrel and Sistar, and doing just an absolutely superb job of both characters, in my opinion. Huh. Thanks very much. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. And uh, we had Jeremy Hitchin to play Sergeant Major Zero in place of Windsor Davies. And Jeremy Hitchin had been showing off for, for many years his Windsor Davies impression, so he was an ideal choice for that role. Terrorhawks without the Sergeant Major is just... Why? Why would you even try? And if someone had tried to do a Windsor impression and just failed, it would have been even sadder. It was fantastic that you had someone there who not only could do the voice, but knew the man so well from having worked so closely with him on those characters back in the day. And it was also nice that the Sergeant Major continued to evolve and develop throughout the course of those audio episodes. He didn't just stay the, the same original character. Just the combination of Windsor Davies as a robot in a Jerry Anderson series, something really magical happened there. I think he caught the the sense of humour that the show had. I think it was very tongue in cheek and he just caught on to that probably before even the show itself did. Uh, Windsor was just one step ahead. What are you on about? By all accounts, a lovely, lovely man. Uh, a long legacy of not just comedy sergeant majors, but memorable performances in other shows. Uh, I haven't even mentioned he was in uh, UFO. I have two favourite clips of Windsor, though. One is of him being completely upstaged by a little baby elephant in It Ain't Our Fuck Mum. Always makes me smile. And another is performing Whispering Grass on Top of the Pops. I have never seen anybody having so much fun as Windsor is in that. Obviously, we are here on Fab Live to celebrate all things Jerry Anderson. So to close out this, again, rather sad edition of Big Rat Bites, here's a few of my favorite moments of Windsor Davies, Sergeant Major Zero in Terrorhawks. Take it away, lovely boy. One, two, three. Zero expects every man to do his duty. Sound the bugle. Let the tunes of glory ring in your ears! Right, my lovely Zeroids, simmer down. It seems it's my turn in the pipeline. <laughs> Hold it, Zero. Where's the fire? <clears throat> the only fire I see, sir, is the fire in your eyes. Why is there no French song? Because, Dick Stewart, it was no good. <laughs> As we all know, a Xeroid is programmed to tell the truth at all times. That's a lie for a start. <laughs> all right, all right. But our way round that particular circuit, I, is illogical. <laughs> How's the arm, Tiger? I'll live. I was afraid of that. You're crazy. Crazy? That's even better than illogical. Ooh. Why am I arguing with this, this plague of my life? I do believe I'll fetch him a nice cup of cocoa. <laughs> Staring into the jaws of death, Zero didn't flinch. Yes, sir. Zero, you were out on maneuvers, not fighting the Battle of Waterloo. I've killed that killjoy. I'll scrap the butcher. I'll demolish him. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time? I stood alone, facing 50 of the enemy. Oof, a prickly situation up here, sir. Ooh. Bury me here, Dick Scute. With full military honors. Present! I'm... Fire! Thanks, Zero. Thanks, Zero? <laughs> Wonders never cease. I think I'll have a little snooze. <laughs> <laughs>